Hello and welcome to Tip of the Week. This week we'll discuss breaking lines in MEP. Currently you'll notice that I'm looking at this view and the lines look like they're all on top of each other. And, you know, nice CAD drawing. They actually stop and start and stop and start so it reads clear. Now, as I look around, um, I think, well, maybe it is the hidden line tool. So I'll come down here and I change it from hidden line to, let's say, um, wireframe. You'll notice that these look a little different. These look a little different. So when I go set it back to hidden line, hidden line actually cleans them up. Now these look good, but notice my crossovers don't. They look pretty yucky. So how do I make these look correct? Now I'm going to check the elevation of that line. You'll notice that that line is actually 2 foot 6, and I'll check the elevation of this line. And that is uh, against 4 inches, well, about 4 and a half, 3 quarter inches off the ground. So this one actually goes over that one, but how do I tell graphically that that, that happens? There's a couple of little settings in Revit, and some of them kind of hide behind the scenes. So let's take a look. I'll go up top, and you'll notice we have this little button here, and I drop it down. It's called MEP settings. When I click on it, you'll see it has mechanical settings, electrical, etc. Um, I'm going to go to mechanical settings, and as I open this up, you'll see it says MEP, uh, draw MEP hidden lines. So, like, oh, what's all this about? Well, see it says inside gap, outside gap, single line gap. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change this. Now, I guess before we change it, let's go ahead and change it to uh, fine. I hit fine, and again, notice the pipes are just kind of gooing up on each other. Like, ah, man, err. So here we go. Let's go back up to this little tool. We're going to go to mechanical settings. And I'm going to say, okay, let's put a gap in there. I'll say eighth inch so it's really visible. Eighth inch, eighth inch, and I hit okay on that. Uh, notice that I broke it back uh, in that location. So notice all of them are now showing that gap. Now I'll go back to, let's say, um, hidden line again, and I set it to uh, coarse. You see now it's single line and it's broke. Now if I set this to wireframe, it goes back so you don't. It, it's not actually hiding the lines. So it has to be set to hidden. And then you just as you know, take a look, print a few out, see how they want how they want them to look. Drop this down, mechanical settings, and adjust that width for what works for you. Now Revit does have a tendency. There is a uh, like a factor in here. Once it's under a certain number, it kind of rounds up and rounds down. So you may at one point find out that it doesn't change after a certain size. It has to do with your units. Uh, Revit will round up and down depending on your units. So I'm gonna set that to a sixteenth. That looks a little bit better. But you have to be careful with your units because if your units are set to, let's say, round off at an eighth of an inch, you, it's hard to make your elements look smaller or more defined than that set. So, all right, so that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the tip. Have a good week.